This is our new tractor. We're gonna unload it off the trailer here. Right off the bat, Kaylee here is gonna keep me straight so I don't Hi. fall off the edge or anything. So. All right, kiddo, you ready? Wow, the difference between high gear and the one below high gear is pretty significant. <laughs> you saw me like take off there. I did not expect it. And then I put it in one lower than that and it was normal. So I guess it's got a really, really high gear probably for driving down the street, maybe. I don't know. Thinking about taking this one out to the highway, seeing how she does. What do y'all think? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna unload the bush hog that apparently will chop down small trees, according to a guy on Facebook that we met yesterday. We'll see. We're gonna use the backhoe for that. Chain it up and then just pull it off with the backhoe because it's heavy, very, very heavy. All right, we're good. Let's do this. Hey, get on and off it like a horse. that on. Kaylee's coming with our center link and then we're going to measure the distance to the drive shaft so we can go order a drive shaft and mow us some brush. Woohoo! <laughs> box in the front of the tractor. The truck? No, on the tractor. We're gonna have to get a real pin for that. But... Nah. <laughs> Luckily. That's it. That was easy. 47 inches. Just under four feet unfortunate because I think they come in six inch increments. Bummer. Oh, but maybe if we extend that, it'll give us our 48 inches. Maybe? I don't know. I've never done this before. But that's what the internet's for. Thanks, YouTube. We're going to take lots of pictures, and lots of measurements, and then go into town and have someone help us farm. 